going on, Swollen Nerds? This is D Star at you once again. Today we are here over at Emerald City Comics. As you can see behind me, it is Walking Dead Day. We have three cast members who played extras in season six and season five that we're going to meet today. So let's go in. Let's have some fun. Oh, and there's a raffle going on. So I'm going to hope I try and win this raffle. We got some really awesome goodies. You guys need to be our friends over at Emerald City Comics. All right, let's go. What is going on, Swollen Nerds? It's your boy D-Star in Emerald City Comics right now. And we are here with, I don't even know if I need to introduce these awesome people. We're all a fans of the show Walking Dead. Ladies and gentlemen, can y'all please give a behind the desk hands to some of the cast members of The Walking Dead. If you guys would please introduce yourself because I don't know who they are already. Uh, hi, I am Dollar Lego, and I play Francine. I'm Owen Hahn, I play the crazed man in season five. Hey, Dave, we've been working all that over. Justin, Ethan, <laughs> season six, Hilltop. Right. Now, you see, I, I didn't have to do much explanation, right? So look, hey, we're here with you guys today. You know, you guys at Emerald Comments. What brings you guys here today with us at Emerald Comments to show us some love? <laughs> Dara actually hit me up and asked if I wanted to do this. And yeah. I was like, yeah. And then I hit up Dahlia and then I hit up Owen. And... Yeah, it's always it's always great to meet you know who your fans are and such like that. You know, I mean, you know, obviously we're helping Elmo Collins, I think, a bit with promotion and stuff like that. And I'm I'm into that as well. You know, meet yeah. cool people, connect with a bunch of people that you've never met before. I think it's, it's so a good thing. So when when you guys when when, when you all got the roles, were able to, you know, get get the part in in Walking Dead. Did y'all specifically want it, did you specifically wanted the part for Francine? Did y'all choose the part y'all wanted? Like how did that how did that whole process work for you guys? And how do you feel afterwards? It's usually hidden. They you know, they give you false names when you audition uh -huh. and, and you, you don't really know you're not really reading the same sides in your audition as you are when you get to set. So it's usually everything's different. Yeah, you have no idea who you're actually auditioning for. Um, I would say that this, when I auditioned for Francine, it was only my second Walking Dead audition. Um, so, yeah, it was just kind of, uh, you never know what they're, you know, what they're actually looking for. You know, it depends who's watching your video, it depends who's directing the episode sometimes. So, but. 
Yeah, I would agree with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. what they said. <laughs> they, don't, they don't tell you anything, to be honest with you. Yeah. Really yeah, don't. it's Very a fake cool. name, it's a fake, yeah, fake yeah. situation. They, there, they start yeah. getting, putting clothes on you. Yeah, they just don't want anything leaked. To, you know. nice. Yeah, like a buddy of ours when he auditioned, Ricky, when he auditioned for, for Walking Dead, but the script was actually like him almost as a... Uh, football coach. A football coach, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? so the scene was written as a... It was I read, I read, I read for him as a yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this so. is this so they can kind of engage what type of skills you all have, yeah. or if they put you in like a similar situation? Yeah. But because so much stuff stuff is leaked online yeah. nowadays, that's why they they have a team of people writing up fake yeah. fake dialogue for these things. Because I mean, multiple times you will just like post the script right online and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, then it's gone, you know? Yeah, if you leak anything out, you, you sign an NDA, yeah. you can yeah. sue for a million dollars. They, they, so. they give you an audition, too, though, so you can digest the emotions that you get. Yeah, yeah they give you, like, it's a, it's paralleling the scene that you're actually, yeah. It's, no. a, cool, it's a cool process, man. You enjoy, oh. enjoy it every time. So, when y'all finally got the roles, when you got the roles, like, what was that excitement about? Because I'm pretty sure, I mean, we've been, we've all been fans, we all are fans of Walking Dead. So you get a role on your favorite TV show, right? Like, how, what was the initial reaction, man? What was like, oh, bro, like, Walking Dead? <laughs> uh, to me, it was kind of, because I started watching Walking Dead just because I knew that it was something that was auditioned in the, you know, in the Southeast. So I started watching it more as like research. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, as everybody else, I became absolutely obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when I got the role, like there was a good maybe ten seconds of like. Heart, like my heart stopped, you know, like this absolute like excitement. But then it's work. So yeah. then it's almost like, okay, well now I gotta like go and like just, you know, all of a sudden you have to kind of like drop that entire thing and just make it, you know, what it is. Which, yeah. you know, it's a job, it's a job and you can't go on set and be like, ah! <laughs> you know, you gotta get on there and you gotta be serious and you gotta be prepared and you gotta, you know. So I was really only able to be excited about it for like, two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. I was like, yeah! And then I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, work. now I gotta work. Time to work. work. <laughs> so, so yeah. No, I mean, I, 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 of course, I get excited like that 18 year old girl. Oh, like, oh my god, I get to meet Daryl. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Dixon, all the way. No, honestly, I was just, you know, I was, I was grateful to be a part of it. I was already a fan of the show, so, you know, I got to, you know, meet a lot of great people on the set. And yeah. Most of the characters I got to meet, so it was, yeah. it was great. But yeah, I was excited for sure. Nice, man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Every time, I mean, think, I think when I was on set, I was like this. <laughs> and then like, uh, Andrew Lincoln comes walking up, I'm like, oh, hey, hey, so you're gonna be the guy I'm fighting today. I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but then, it, was, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. And that, that died down by lunch. Lunch, I was kind of like, cool, man. Like, everybody's friend, like, now they got now uh, in, in Walking Dead they have like revolving cast cast members. Now I know I was just talking to you about training. You know this is swollen nerd. So, like, did y'all have to? You know, is it like impromptu? You get the role, or are you trying to make yourself look a certain way, train a certain way? Um, you know, how did that whole process work when you know dealing with your health and fitness in general? Yeah, I know. I had to put on a lot of weight because I was normally I, I started out very skinny. I was like 200 pounds, and then I shot up to 240, 245. Nice. You know, just to book these bigger guy roles. Yeah. You know, because that's what they want. When you're tall, they expect you to be big. So yeah. I just had to get my eat on. <laughs> eat all kinds of five eggs like Mr. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's the opposite. Of course, being a female, they always want smaller, so it's constantly. I mean, they're. they're you know, Walking Dead, it's kind of like you have so much clothes on, so it's like, but still, you know, um, you know, this past year, I actually gained 10 pounds last year, and this year I, I had to drop another 10, so, so, I mean, a little different, I'd say I'm, I'm female, but interestingly enough, Jordan Woods Robinson, who plays Eric okay. yeah. on the show, he has a very, he has a very nerdy look. He's a ginger, he's got pale skin, you know, he's, and right now he's extremely skinny. 
because at one point in his life he was ribbed. Really? But then it was conflicting with his casting ability. Because he has this very nerdy look, but all Never of a sudden he takes on his shirt and he's like huge. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so then he became vegan and like he just flangers. like, you know, <laughs> now he weighs like, now he looks like he weighs like yeah. 110 pounds. So yeah, so that, I mean, that's an interesting Yeah, course. I never knew that about him. Yeah, that's yeah, and one time he was up for a role for something, I don't know what it was, and it was like him and somebody else, and the casting, you know, people looked at him, and they were like, you're probably ripped under that shirt, aren't you? And he's like, yeah, yeah, and he's like, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's conflicting with the, with the, the, the character. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he had to drop everything. I wish I, I wish I, I wish that would happen to me. Or I would show up for a role and be like, "Oh, we need you totally out of shape." Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, now, uh, being a female, uh, you know, in the industry, and going back to training, are you more aware of, you know, how you should be eating, how you should how you should be training? Because I know you just recently said, you know, put on ten pounds. It's bizarre. I mean, yeah, and I would say all of us, we were having like a pretty intense conversation about it before, you know. Um, there was at one point where I tried the whole vegan diet thing, and for some reason I just gained 10 pounds. And yeah. then I couldn't lose it for about two years. Um, but just recently, you know, it's like, you, you, and, and it, depends, it depends what you're trying to do, you know, because you do have some actors who, you know, are, are bigger, and that's why they cast, yeah. because they're a different size. So it really depends on what, what you're trying to work towards. I yeah. was kind of funny, I was watching uh, 30 Rock the other day, and there's this whole, you know, Alec Baldwin at one point says, he's like, no, there's no in-between. He's like, either you're 120 pounds or you have to be 300. He's like, was for women, you know, there's no, yeah. no in-between. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's insulting and it's funny. But yeah, so, so that's the thing for me. It's like, I'm, I'm, you know, I grew up kind of overweight, so I'm always trying to get smaller, yeah. but I can't get any smaller than this. You know, um, if I do, I start to look a little, yeah, a little, a little too thin. She got Puerto Rican in her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, so, um, mommy. <laughs> so, but it's constantly a part of an actor's life. You know, yeah. like what you look like. It's all, it's all about image. So, so and then uh, you know, and for all of you all, you know, and going going back to putting on weight, dropping weight. You're auditioning for different roles. You're all looking for a job. So it's constantly, you know, looking for a job unless you set something. I said set something for a long period of time. How is it maybe your off, I guess your off season where nothing's really pulling in possibly, you know, how is that affecting the training? Are you still conscious of how you're eating, how you're training? Because the roles are different that you trial for. It, it dies down, you know, like in the winter time, the fall. So I really focus on football. Yeah. And right. then once, once January hits and that's when pilot season comes, that's when I'm back in the gym hardcore and, you know, losing the beer weight. Yeah. And, you know, Really add it, mind and body. But yeah, I, I've got yeah. to have my football in between. I'm just trying to stay ready. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, it's a it's a battle, man. But like, as long as you're like a few weeks out, I feel like you're okay. So like, and I, I'm a little more than a few weeks out lately, and I'm getting back into it. And it's a battle, dude. You know, right. sometimes like that's like the hardest thing. Is keeping track of your weight. Yeah. Because you like good food, you like good stuff, and I stuff on scale. I try to maintain going to the gym. Yeah. And stuff on scale. Nice, man. Well, look, man, I definitely appreciate you guys hanging out with us and swollen hey. nerds. Definitely an honor meeting you all, you know, being at seeing y'all on TV I and mean, like now looking, talking to you all in person. So, swollen nerds, look, y'all give these guys one more look because you're going to be seeing more of them. Thank y'all for tuning in. You guys remember, please subscribe. This is D-Star coming at you from Emerald City Comics, our beautiful family of Swollen Nerd. Guys, we're out. Boom.